Hey Scentsy fans, it's Sarah from Scentsy with Sarah Lynn. I am so excited to bring you my very first Wax Wars video. Um, I've been busy, busy, busy observing. I'm trying to get some scent scores in as well as starting this Wax Wars little mini series I'm doing. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, I'm sure you've probably seen the little intro video I did at the end of last week to this new mini series called Wax Wars. So what I'm doing is comparing wax melt brands to Scentsy, or maybe I'll eventually start comparing one brand to another. Who knows? Let's see where it takes us. But today I am going to start with Scentsy versus Sensationals, and I have never tried Sensationals wax. I admit I have been spoiled right from day one. I started with Scentsy wax melts. I think I've tried maybe two of the Bath and Body Works wax melts a couple years ago, and I think I've had two, maybe three of the Yankee Candle, a little, Yankee Candle wax melts, but they'll have their own um, little wax wars in the near future. So I never tried the sensational stuff. Um, so I went into my local Walmart, was disappointed with the selection, but I managed to find a few. Um, I didn't know or I had never read the scent notes on any of these with a little bit more time and patience. I did find them on Google and after I made the purchase, mind you. So I was pretty impressed because check out these scent notes. So Sensational's Cupcake says, there's always room for dessert. Fill your home with the sweet scent of cupcake. Deliciously made warm vanilla, sugar cane, and whipped cream frosting, whereas Scentsy's Happy birthday scent notes say, bring back the childhood memories of licking sweet rich frosting off the beaters. Happy birthday is a candy-licious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and warm vanilla extract. So allegedly the exact same three, sugar cane, vanilla, and whipped cream frosting in both. So pretty close, right? Um... My very first impression of Sensationals on Cold Sniff was it's not nearly as good as Scentsy. It's not terrible, but I just didn't find it as like mouth-watering, delicious, cake icing goodness as when I smelled the Scentsy Happy Birthday Bar. Um, <clears throat> The other thing I noticed is that Sensational's wax is super hard. Like, for the price point, this has to be paraffin wax as well. Has to be. But I don't know what else it's mixed with that makes it, like, rock hard. Um, Scentsy is a harder wax than, say, a lot of the soy or beeswax blends that you would buy. But this is rock hard. I worried about um, my warmers when I was melting it because Scentsy warmers... Uh, only heat up to a certain degree because our wax is softer. It doesn't need to get piping hot. I was worried that my Scentsy warmers wouldn't melt this all the way down. It did, but it took a good 45-50 minutes for this to liquefy. The other thing that I was worried about is once this was done and I let it harden, <laughs> scraping it out of my warmer, I was literally scared I was going to either scratch or actually break my dish. So I think moving forward, instead of using my Scentsy spatula to remove this wax, when I use this in the future, I will soak it up with cotton balls from the liquid form and then dispose of it versus try and jack it out with, you know, yeah, super hard. <clears throat> so right from the beginning, I was very skeptical of Sensationals. The hard wax not as great smell on cold as Sensi's happy birthday, but for the sake of this experiment, I had to buy it and had to give it a try. The price point on Sensationals in Canada for just the regular one, and they've got bigger size as well, but for the regular one, it's $3.48 Canadian, and for a Sensi bar, it's $8. The Sensi bar is a tad bit bigger, but for more than double the price. So I know that price is important to a lot of people, and to me it is too. Um, 
So hey, if I can find a great product for a more affordable price, I'm all for that. But just like anything else, you get what you pay for. So let's get into the performance of Cupcake. Um, the scent notes right away, or sorry, the fragrance right away and the scent notes, I find for Sensationals to be a little tiny bit misleading in the fact that you're expecting to get that cake bakery, warm vanilla, sugar cane, and then the whipped cream frosting. This is warm or cold, a very one dimensional scent. It just smells, it doesn't smell bad, it smells really good actually, but it just smells like vanilla cake. I didn't get the sugar cane and then I thought once it's warming and you know, at its peak of its performance, maybe I'll get that creamy frosting note to it, but unfortunately for me, it never came through. It's just a very one dimensional scent. This could potentially make a great mixer. I don't think that I would ever mix my Scentsy wax with my Sensational wax, but hey, if you have some fruity Sensationals at home that you're just tired of, you don't know what to do with, you could totally pick up Cupcake, add it to your fruity Sensational wax and give it a bit of a bakery blend to it. That might be nice. Add some dimension to this otherwise kind of boring scent. Whereas Sensi's Happy Birthday, oh, it's falling out. You get that like, smells like cake batter. Smells like confetti cake batter. And then when you're warming it, I also don't get too much sugar on this one. But when it's warming, you definitely, definitely get that icing note to it. Oh. This one smells so good you want to eat it. This one smells good. So it's totally up to you. On the performance end, though, let's get into that. I, again, didn't have very high expectations for this sensational wax. I was impressed, though. Um, it doesn't, um, doesn't get that dimensional scent to it. The other scents don't come through. It's just the cake batter the vanilla white cake through and through but when this was at its highest point it was getting like an eight to ten foot throw that's impressive because this is a lighter scent um an eight to ten foot throw for something for three dollars and 48 cents i'd say that's pretty good a lot better than i had anticipated um, after about six hours of it warming, it did start to lose its its potency. Um, the throw shrank considerably to only about a four and a half, five foot throw. Um, but it did keep on trucking. And all in all, Sensational's Cupcake lasted 12 hours. And then at the 12 hour mark, it was barely even detectable in the room. So I did take it out. Um, so for $3.48, I, I really... I think I got my money's worth for sure. Absolutely no regrets on Sensational's Cupcake. But as far as wax wars, when I compare it to Sensi's Happy Birthday, uh, Sensi's Happy Birthday got a 14 to 16 foot throw. It was phenomenal, like filled this room wall to wall for 16 hours, and then it considerably shrunk and shrunk and shrunk until at the 22 hour mark, I took this out of the warmer. So, you know, this one, yes, it is over twice the price, but it lasts twice as long as this. In order to get this to perform like this, you're gonna have to add two or three cubes, I'd say to get the performance that you would out of a Scentsy bar. So, I guess it's all based on personal preference. Um, I don't think that Sensationals is a waste of money. I definitely would pay $3.48 for it. Probably not more than that. Um, and it is very much a one-dimensional scent. So Wax Wars for scent as well as performance, I'd say Sensi wins this round hands down. But I was pleasantly surprised.
this isn't a waste of money. It's still good. It's still really good. Actually, um, I've recently had a couple people tell me that they use Sensationals in like rooms that they're not in often. Um, like one of my customers has a walk-in closet. She doesn't live in her walk-in closet. She wants it to smell nice when she's in there. So she has a little Walmart plug-in and she uses Sensationals in there. And she saves her Sensi for like her sitting rooms and her bedrooms, the rooms that she actually spends time in. Because she's like, I never sit in my closet, but I want it to smell nice. So food for thought. Um, to be perfectly honest, I, I really did think I would use one cube of this and then would probably give it to somebody or let it sit and collect dust. But pleasantly surprised. I think I will definitely use the rest of this. Maybe I'll even do a melted mixers video and show you what I'm going to blend this with. And you know what? I think Grace, my middle daughter, would absolutely love this. It would make for a great stocking stuffer. Um, and again, like my one customer said, still good. And use it in rooms that you don't spend a lot of time in without having to spend the price point on something like Scentsy. So that's what I got for you for Wax Wars Cupcake versus Happy Birthday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for future content notification. I look forward to bringing you new videos in the very near future. Bye.